Hi everybody and welcome to the video. This is Matteo from the FPB Combat Project. Today I'm gonna continue with the video tutorial series and I'm gonna cover the topic of the calibration of the voltage reading into the OST menu. Basically, since the latest version, you are now capable to perfectly align your reading with the actual reading of an external instrument. So to perform these steps, you could connect directly the FTDI adapter to the board or in my case, as I want to show you, you can do it on air. Basically, you can connect one of the HC12 module directly to the FTDI adapter and from there calibrate the voltage reading. There is a reason why I suggest to do that with the wireless connection instead of the wire connection, because with the wireless, conne wireless connection, you're gonna be forced to use the battery voltage of your setup and not the power from the FTDI adapter that could mess up the calibration. Let's proceed by opening up the open serial port monitor or any other serial monitor interface that you know. Basically, we will have to select the COM port number according to the number that your workstation detects your FTDI adapter. Let's set up the baud rate to 9600 and generally all the other parameters are as default or just check as in my video here. We're gonna click on the connect button and then we are connected to our board. In order to enter into the calibration at this stage, we're gonna need to send the dollar symbol over the serial. So press dollar, click enter, and the board will beep and will return a cow message on the serial monitor. Now you can simply send several time plus or minus sign symbol in order to align your OSD reading with the reading of your instrument. This is gonna take a little while, just find out the sweet balance point where the reading is stable enough. When done, just simply send again the dollar symbol over the serial. The board will return exit message and basically we are done. I really hope you find the video very easy to follow and most important, useful. Uh, I wanna leave you with just one additional tip for you and which is about the connection of the HC12 module. Basically, I want to recommend you to use some kind of connector between the HC12 module and the board because that's the same port that is used during the firmware updates. So if you're gonna uh, proceed with firmware updates, you wanna stay updated, that's gonna make your life way easier. And that was actually all for today. I hope to see you in the FPV Combat Community Group on Facebook to share your experience, your fights, your DVR, whatever you prefer to share. We will be happy to see that. Happy fights!